Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna show you a day in my life. I haven't been vlogging pretty much at all since I've come back from college. Um, I've just been super busy working nine to five pretty much every single day. I'm gonna go see one of my really, really best friends and I'm really excited to go do that. So clearly, I'm still in bed, but we're gonna fix that, okay? So as you can see, it's a really beautiful day outside, and I'm excited to share it with all of you. So let's go grab some coffee, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna grab one of these cups. I'm gonna put ice in it. And then we're gonna walk over to get the coffee. <laughs> Super cute birthday balloons that my sister got me. My birthday was last Sunday, and she got me some really cute balloons. But yeah, we're gonna wait for this to make some coffee. Ice coffee accomplished. And look at the pretty flowers I bought yesterday at Publix. You know what? My parents are out of town, but I figured that as an adult, I can buy flowers whenever I want for myself just because I can. <laughs> so I bought these. They're so cute. Anyways, so I just got out of the shower. I washed my hair and I need to dry it. I think I'm gonna put it in curlers too, just cause I always do that. But I got my eyebrows done. I have super, super sensitive skin. So I broke out really bad on my forehead and like over here where she waxed them. So I need to be putting on like some toner and stuff. So I will take you through my makeup routine as well. I'm just gonna do like a chill makeup routine since I can't do like makeup here because I don't want to irritate it more. So yeah, let's do that. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I've changed. Next step is to dry my hair. So I love <laughs> Okay, so here's the thing. So I'm gonna plug this in, but I feel like I love this dress, like I think it's so cute and summery. Um, <laughs> I love the color, I actually don't own anything in yellow, which I think like my complexion and my hair color looks really good with yellow, so I think it's nice. The funny thing is just that like, <laughs> I feel like I'm a mix between like, if Belle was like living in real life with like, if Big Bird was living in real life. But like in a good way, if that makes sense. Like, I don't think I ever watched Sesame Street growing up. But um, yeah, my hair is super thick. So I first have to put up half of it when I'm drying it. This will probably make me look even more like Belle, I suppose. Because I have a bun now. I'm doing pretty light makeup today because I'm just going to see I'm just going to see a friend and then tonight I have church groups. I really enjoyed the church group that I joined um, closer to school. Oh, this thing breaks every single time. <laughs> I need to glue it. I really should hot glue it, but I don't know where the hot glue is and moving move somewhere, some moving box that I'm putting bronzer here. But I really uh, just feel like it really I really loved that I had a community within the church and that people knew me personally and so that was really powerful the church that I go to here at home it's really really big so I was kind of nervous because it's huge but honestly it's it was I've only had one session and it's been really nice so I have it again tonight and I'm excited so I'll just do that and probably just wear the same thing I'm wearing now because it's just chill I'm gonna start prioritizing this channel and making content because I just think it's so much fun. I'm going to the beach next weekend with my family, my whole family from Georgia is coming down. So I'm gonna vlog that and then I'm also gonna make some more content, like sit down videos, some more content on that trip. 
And then a few weeks after that, my family and I are going to Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii before and I'm so excited. So I'm definitely gonna vlog that and do some content over there because it'll just be, it's perfect. I mean, it's Hawaii. I'm gonna go ahead and do eyeliner and mascara off camera and then I'll be back. <laughs> my sister's face having me. Hey, Estella, Hello. say hi to the vlog. <laughs> say hi. Hi. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'll pause my vlog now. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Okay, so this is how it comes out. I think I need to put in a little bit of hairspray maybe just to make sure it sits properly and I reckon I need to, what is that on my forehead? Mark. But that is it. So I'm gonna leave now and I will see you guys in the car. Yay! Right, so I'm in the car. I'm about to take off. I'm headed there now. I have her little birthday present here. Um, her birthday was in February, but we're gonna celebrate both of our birthdays today. So I'm so excited. Bye! I just came back from lunch about an hour ago and now I'm at the gym so today's push day so we're gonna do that and then after I'm probably gonna have a protein shake and meal prep my dinner for tonight slash the rest of the week it's gonna be something super high protein and versatile and yeah so let's hit push day together <laughs> okay total side note it's actually the best feeling when there's nobody else in the whole gym but you. It's kind of a vibe, so yay! <laughs> I put my bike for a little bit as a cool down and then go upstairs. Workout done. <laughs> okay, so I'm back from the gym. The shower is clearly running. I'm gonna take a quick shower and I'm making another protein coffee. This is like my favorite way to have a protein shake without having to like blend it or just have it plain because sometimes it tastes weird. I'm still trying to find like a protein powder that I like that doesn't taste um, powdery. Like when you just mix it with water or almond milk in a blender bottle. So if you have any recommendations, leave it in the comments below. Okay, so meal prep has begun. As you can see here, I put just some sauteed onions in this pan with a little bit of garlic. And I'm currently about to chop up these mushrooms. I'm making a tomato bolognese for on top of different vegetables. So I'm gonna put ground chicken, these crushed tomatoes, mushrooms, and then when I serve it, I'll pour this over zucchini and put some Parmesan on it. I added the tomatoes to the mushrooms and onions and I'm just stirring it up a little bit. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water and then obviously I'm gonna season it. So I'm gonna leave for small group soon. But that's my meal prep. So yeah. <laughs> okay, so I just came back from small group. It was so good because today we're talking about hearing from God and how sometimes we feel like we say, oh, like I definitely, like I feel like it was God. But can you feel it or do you know it? That's the difference. And it was talking about like getting in God's word really helps you to see clearly what he's already said and then what he's going to say so i feel like that was really profound i really really enjoyed that i was really nervous to join groups a little bit because that put me out of my comfort zone but like i said earlier i really am happy that i did it and even though i'm like driving there myself and i don't know literally anyone in the church i think that's the whole point right so i just got to get over that and i am getting over it which is good i do have to cut this huge watermelon that I have to do before I go to work tomorrow because I'm gonna have this in the morning. I really hope it's a good one because I heard a trick where if you like knock on it and it sounds hollow, that means that it's a good watermelon. And also if it has this big yellow spot where it was like laying there from, that's the part that didn't hit the sun, then it should be good. It sounds pretty crispy. 
Oh my goodness, that's actually delicious. You know another trick? I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but when the watermelon has all these little veins in it, like discoloration of like white and yellow, that's how you know it's good because it means it has a lot of... Honestly, I don't know what it means. I just know it, that they're always better when they're like that. So we're gonna cut this and then I'm gonna put it all in this plastic Tupperware container. Let's do it. Okay, so I just wanted to show you exactly what I was talking about. I just cut the other half and this piece broke open. Do you see this? Like it's, can you hear that? Oh my gosh. I reckon this is the best watermelon I've ever bought. Do you see literally every single, this is my little bowl for later. <laughs> every single piece of cut is like bright red. Look at that. Look at that. Anyways, if you can't tell, like I mentioned already, it's my favorite fruit. So I'm like a connoisseur of these things. <laughs> Take my word for it. I'm gonna keep cutting this. I wish I could say that I could just say, here, this is for you. No one will focus, but this piece is for you. <laughs> okay, so good. Okay, so I just came out of the shower and I went ahead and put on this bow headpiece. I already took off my makeup in the shower using the same product that I'm about to show you. My skincare routine since coming home from college is a little bit different than it was when I was there because some of the products that I use, like for example this one, I had to buy a new one when I came here because it just wasn't travel friendly for me. But the product that I use is the La Roche-Posay Purifying Foaming Cleanser. This is for normal to oily skin. Usually I have dry skin and they have a dry skin form of this product. And I tried it and I didn't like it. I don't think it did anything for my skin. I think it just, it wasn't for me. But the difficult thing about my skincare routine is that I use this Clarisonic brush which I've now been told they discontinued. I think they have a newer format of it, but this one is from years and years ago. Um, you can change the like head of it, like this thing comes off. That's the problem though, that it's discontinued. So when I go to buy them, I have to buy a different brand that fits in the Clarisonic thing because they made a new, bris new bristles for the new shaped brush, but I have the old one, so whatever. It's like Apple making the new charger that doesn't fit like the old phones, so you have to buy new ones. That's what they're doing, <laughs> pretty much. But you know, I'm content with the older one, so I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Anyways, it turns on like this. It makes you look crazy, but it does really good things for your skin, I promise. You make the same face that you do when you're doing mascara, you go like, and <laughs> you look crazy, but it's so funny. Uh, I wasn't using the this on my forehead the first few days that I had the irritation because I have really sensitive skin. For example, some products made for babies don't even work on my skin. Like they're supposed to be sensitive for children and it burns my skin. That's how sensitive it is, which is really annoying but I have to have everything unscented. Yeah, this doesn't smell like anything. <laughs> Dab my face. The next thing I'm going to do is take toner and put it, just spray it all over. Specifically in that area because I still have an irritation. And the product that I'm using for moisturizer is the Elizabeth Arden, which is Perpetual Moisture, number 24. I don't really know where I got it. My mom got it for me, so she just gave it to me. But this is what it looks like. It's a little blue bottle. So that was my skincare routine. Uh, the last step of my nighttime routine is to brush my teeth because that's important. <laughs> It's super rainy outside. Like, you'd think Florida is the sunshine state. No, actually it is, but it just rains a lot too. So it's raining and I just want something cozy. I think I'm gonna have a movie night. Shout out to Cass, by the way. I just found this necklace. Some of the things I brought home from college 
I haven't unpacked yet. So I found this necklace that she made me. It's so cute, if you can see. So, now my camera doesn't want to focus on me again. Okay, so it's so cute. So, anyways, I'm gonna make myself dinner. Okay, tiny cutting board, zucchini. In half, and in half again. Well, that was really bad. <laughs> That's all right. And we're just gonna make little chunks. A little salt. And a little bit of fresh ground pepper. That's how it's done. I feel so professional when I do this. Like I'm a literal chef in like a full on restaurant. Kind of cool. With Gordon's Rams, you can see me now. Just kidding. <laughs> So this is my dinner. I have the ground chicken um, with a little bit of feta on top of my, <laughs> where, where did they go? On top of my zucchinis. And then here I have, I just cut up some strawberries and cucumbers because we wanted something cold and fresh on the side. Plus also now we have protein, carbs, and fats in all of the, in the meal, which is gonna help me keep me full. And then if, if you know me, you know that cucumbers are literally one of my favorite foods in the entire planet. I don't know why. In, in uni, I eat them like every single day at dinner or lunch, whatever. So I had to include them, but I'm actually going to top them with this. These are Kreuterling. So if you didn't know, I'm originally from Germany. And this, my mom, she was just in Germany a few months ago. So she brought this home for me. And it's actually the best thing on the planet. It's like a mix of, it's like a little bit of salt with different herbs and I, it actually tastes good on absolutely everything so it's going on here too <laughs> oops a little bit too much but yeah so this is the dinner okay everyone so that was a day in my life i really hope you enjoyed my vlog like i said i'm going to be doing more vlogs and prioritizing it more so Stay tuned for more content. Oh, and also, totally random, so comment below if you think I should do this, but I was thinking about starting up a TikTok to make more content and also to be doing a little bit of like fashion videos and stuff. I have a really big passion for fashion and I feel like that's to be super fun to do like daily, like what is it called? OOTD or whatever, but not make it cheesy. I thought that'd be super cute and just to make different videos like that. I also can do like calligraphy videos and do um, like how to do it and stuff like that, which is that's actually a lot easier than you think But anyways, so I hope you guys Enjoyed the vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye